But okay, dear folks, we're about to uh, witness this 2.3. Uh, uh, three, three. I forgot what number we're on for a second there. But yeah, we're about to witness a 2.3 special program. Cannot wait. Can't wait to see a girl Firefly in action. Because yeah, I've stayed away from all the leaks. I stayed away from every single leak, so I don't know what Firefly's animations are like. So I'm very much looking forward to seeing them here. But already, beginning in three, two, one. Let us begin. This program got this brought to you by the IPC. Okay, that's a bit soft. I might turn it up there. which is now in its fourth round. Ways of remaining competitors are still vying for their shot of victory. Leaving aside Duke Inferno's fiery demise, uh, the yeah, like to reassure everyone that no contestants. Have oh, so yeah, what about the Annihilation Gang? We still don't know anything about right. them. We thought they showed up in Pentagon, eh? With the crisis dispelled, only flowers, glory, and rapturous applause await. <laughs> Not to mention a pool party. Yeah, a pool party. Swimsuits went, Hoyo. Didn't we? <laughs> Just agree. kidding. The swimsuit dress code. <laughs> Not a swimsuit. Hmm. Is that what we agreed? Dad, <laughs> but you. I know a lot of people would pay for Akron in a swimsuit. <laughs> Albert, can I borrow you? Hey, there's our girl. <laughs> Madam Jade. Madam so Jade. What brings you here? <laughs> the corporation is planning to increase the special program budget. Here, it's all in the agreement. <laughs> uh. Thank you, Miss Jade. <laughs> and thank you, IPC. <laughs> Where do I sign? <laughs> oh my God! Uh, what are those eyes, Albert? <laughs> 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 Uh, Albert's a man of culture, I see. Hey, there's our girl. Our actual girl this time. You uh, know what I'm talking about. Become Sam. Become Sam. Okay, become Sam. It's just... There's a lot of people around. <laughs> no problem. If anything goes wrong... No problem. You're, you're just a wanted criminal, Albert. that's all. Mm, in that case, check out the newest upgrade. Uh, I shall... The seas ablaze! Yeah! Oh wow, that's a cool transition to the <laughs> trailer. To me, hiding is much easier. Than hey! Oh yeah, yet, we haven't seen our third so death yet, right? Expressing my emotions as any ordinary person would. There's our girl. Forgotten someone, my gray-haired friend. Oh shit! Oh, Sparkle, what the I fuck are you doing? Uh oh. You have ten minutes to right, we didn't. Oh my god, is Sparkle literally gonna blow up Panicani? <laughs> yeah, Sam, baby. <laughs> so, also, sorry the quality is like dropping, by the way. But yes, Sam is here. <laughs> Set, Set the season blaze. <laughs> Yeah! Always remember, don't leave with any regrets. Yeah, Sparkle, the fuck are you doing? <laughs> so now. Uh. Do you understand? Hey, you it's the girl up? Mina Sims over, <laughs> even though we know nothing about her. <laughs> oh, it, oh my god. She's using a whip as a weapon? Okay. Okay. Holy thighs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I okay, see we got another dummy mommy in the party here. My script isn't over yet. Oh. It's been a while, little Yelena. I propose. Yelena? Oh yeah, Yelena's like Tomas's real name, right? So yeah. To the uh oh. Of and the universe. Uh oh. Can I interpret this? Oh, screw them. As the next phase of the simulated universe. Oh shit! Correction. Right. It's a new subject matter that Dr. Ratio and I have personally agreed on. Yeah, but Simi Universe is gonna, get, is gonna get another game mode. Sick. Oh my god, such a, that's such a beautiful splash art. I'll say, but your first redemption code, everybody. Holy shit, though. Yeah, uh, it seems like our problems are not over on Panacani just yet. Yeah, this is Sparkle and the IPC to deal with, right? Yeah. <laughs> And of course, that's still that thing with uh, Boot Hill and uh, Aventurine. Uh, I'll swallow Snyder. Yeah, we still need to take care of him. So, yeah, still have a bit of unanswered uh, problems. We still have to resolve in uh, 2.3. But 
damn, that was a good-ass trailer. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be pulling for Firefly for sure. Also, yeah, I posted the redemption code in the chat, so you can go ahead and copy and paste it to your redeemer. Man, though. Yeah, I was not expecting Jade to whip out a whip. I, I didn't know she was like that, to be honest. But yeah, claim those codes right now before they expire tomorrow. Your world has a day night cycle. Good morning, good afternoon, <laughs> and good evening. I'm Albert, your friendliest feathered announcer. Welcome to the version 2.3 Farewell Pentacony special program. For today's uh, program, we have with Yeah, it does kind of make me kind of sad that we're kind of leaving well, Panacai now. A Stellaron Hunter. We're not, we're not, not full on leaving, leaving, but you know, the, the main story is over. It makes me kind of sad that it's happening. Madam because yeah, pa Panacai was so good at men. <laughs> oh, so sorry for That's interrupting me. Albert here. I just want to get my thoughts Thank out. Thank you for the invite. It's a pleasure to be here for the version 2.3 special program. You can call me Acheron. <laughs> so, we all know who you are. What exactly is this newest upgrade you were all talking about? <laughs> I just showed everyone. <laughs> Hi, Trailblazers. Firefly here. Yay! Welcome, welcome. Now, before we go any further, we agreed to a pool party. <laughs> welcome, I'm the only one that showed up in a swimsuit. <laughs> <laughs> We thought you were joking. After all, this show never previously no. had pool party levels of funding. Don't worry. Oh, your swimsuit <laughs> skins win. Madam J's investment <laughs> is on the way. Next time. How for dare sure. you disappoint Albert like this? Anyway, I demand compensation in the form of a swimsuit skin, ground, given out for free. <laughs> we're coming to you live from the skies above Pinnacone. In none other than the Radiant Felt Spa airship. Quite a luxurious setting. Also, yeah, this is, yeah, this is a new area in Pentagon, huh? I, I thought they were done expanding the map, but I guess not. I just want to give everyone a yeah, it looks like I'm pulling a bar history. here. <laughs> Over to you, Madam Jade. Also, yeah, Sparkle, right yeah, the, 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 the bombing plan. Odiel Falfa, the Pentaconia. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't think she was actually Invested real about that one. a large one. sum in constructing the Radiant Feldspar airship. But plus, Aside Firefly, no, not Firefly, Violet, Sparkle did say Ballroom, to press a button when the Charmony Festival goes live, which is not going to happen. Side. Also, what the you fuck are the Trotters doing there? <laughs> this grand airship has sailed above Pentecost. Okay, I'm gonna shut up now and just watch. <laughs> for an entire Amber era, suspending services only recently in the wake of the crisis. The Trailblazers hmm. have yet to claim responsibility for this matter. In case you weren't aware, the Radiant Failed Spa never opens to the public. Only mm. the family's most esteemed guests are invited to take in such breathtaking aerial views of Pinnacone. You mean to say that after yep. three New trailblazers mission. Versions, the Trailblazers might finally be able to take a vacation? <laughs> Let's not uh... get ahead of ourselves. The yeah, I don't. I don't think Sparkle the bombing the place counts as vacation. Great disturbance in Panacone. Correct. The Charmony Festival was forced to terminate. One can well imagine the damage to public opinion. The family's reputation must be built anew, and the public must be reassured. There and the IPC must take over. <laughs> which urgently need addressing. Aside from the Oak family. The major lineages are preparing their responses to help deal with the aftermath. In the version 2.3 Trailblaze mission, the express crew will be invited aboard the Radiant Feld Spar as witnesses to important family discussions. Okay. But if the factors that disrupted the dreamscape have been resolved, what other assistance is required? Uh, uh yeah, certain mass fool. You can't deal with stuff like that out in the open. <laughs> the family came up with an idea. Fix the Radiant Feld Spar as the Charmony Festival's location while simultaneously announcing the reopening of the airship. A pity none of this razzle dazzle can fool the IPC. During the Grand Theater final battle, also, Venturing may have been digging up dirt on the family and Dream yeah, Also, uh, is it me or is Jade's voice a bit higher pitched than usual? I remember it being a bit deeper when we heard it in the Archon Quest. Is the IPC about to make a claim on Trailblaze Quest. My bad. 
Never say never with the gosh dang IPC. Oh, yep, the IPC ammo, was causing baby. trouble as usual. <laughs> Reading between the lines, it seems like these discussions concern the future of Panacone. They do. But a quick refresher. Anyone remember a certain mass fool issuing mutually yeah. destruction buttons to the residents of Panna County? What's she up to? What's she cooking? Sparkle sent out gifts in each one of the past three versions. Surely she... <laughs> Would pushing the button really yeah. cause Panna County to explode? I have my doubts. Only one uh, way to find out. Uh... No, 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 Don't do that. Too much time with a certain blonde haired director. I'm not putting the bill if you blow up the radiant bell spa. Let's leave these mysteries for the trailblazers to explore again. It's time we got back to the Charming Festival, baby. Who might the honor guest be? I hear you ask. Who else? Other than Robin. It's about to get interesting. Albert hands things over to the trailblazers again. Yeah. Family business is family business, and we've got a show to do. Even if the next young lady needs no introduction. Yep, <laughs> we all know her. Oh, is that really her idol? <laughs> Aw, look at her. Finally in the game, as she's meant to be. And yes, there's he. <laughs> there she is. Oh my god, is that her ultimate? Oh hell yeah. Oh, he, he's got the, the green wings finally from the White Knight trailer. Oh my god, is that his? <laughs> Barbara is a member of the Stellaron Hunters. Oh my god, yeah, I'm so Lamoth, fucking hyped. <laughs> that was destroyed long ago. Lamoth. The same Lamoth Yeah, I totally thought if I can stop one heart from breaking, was going to play there. <laughs> I remember the but yes, she's here, baby. Lamoth's Iron Cavalry Regiment. Yes. Glamoth was once a rich and powerful empire with a vast territory. After the swarm invaded, everything was destroyed. Resisting the swarm called for the creation of Glamoth's Iron Cavalry. They were genetically modified soldiers, weapons that existed only to wage war. They piloted mechs to contain the swarm. Ah. I met many of those heroes. And Sam was one of those mechs. To many. Oh. <laughs> What stood out to me F in the chat. That Sam's full name is actually Firefly Type 4 Strategic Assault Mech. Ah. Uh, out there. Strategic Assault the Mech, Sam. Bodies, there could be other Sams. <laughs> Ooh, imagine that. <laughs> imagine just an army of Sams James. out there. <laughs> the answer to that question lies in Firefly's myriad Celestia and animated short. Oh. <laughs> Teasing those already, I see. I was wondering. Yeah, very much looking for to really watch those two videos. When Sam says something, Firefly. Mhm. Mm I actually spend a lot of time practicing my Sam lines. Yeah. <laughs> Let me guess. Silverwolf came up with the lines. Blade came up with the movements, <laughs> and Kaka put them together. Huh? That sounds a little too professional for us. <laughs> yeah. Well, speaking of professional, I think it's time we took a look. At what this young lady can do in her combat mech. Yes, I please show me your animations. Following the path of destruction. Yes. I'm using my technique during exploration, I summon my Sam armor. Oh, what? Sam can leap into the air. After landing, Sam attacks all enemies. Oh, my God. Oh, that's such a cool technique. The heroic <laughs> she just fucking destroyed the enemy just outright. <laughs> Holy shit. Wave of enemies. Weaknesses can be inflicted on units without fire weakness. Oh, for a set number of turns. In really? Battle, Just straight up fire weaknesses. Form. Okay. In the initial form, using skill consumes HP while simultaneously regenerating ultimate energy. Oh, okay, so it's kind of like our boss HP, form. The less damage sustained. Hmm? Lower the HP, less damage sustained. Okay. Hunters this careless with their lives? 
<laughs> okay, so <laughs> she's kind of like Blade in a sense. Second battle oh yeah, our ultimate show it. Complete combustion oh yeah, that's such a cool animation. Powerful basic attacks and skills, speed oh yeah, she has like base. fucking the, the two swords as well. Using enhanced abilities, Sam's weakness break efficiency and weakness break damage sustained by enemies both increase. Oh. Sam restores HP with each Oh, attack. that's fucking cool. That's so, a sick ass animation. The complete combustion state allows us to get a glimpse of Firefly's view from the mech. I also love, yeah, I also love that UI that we can see, like, saw one. yeah, <laughs> enough to set the seas ablaze. I'll wager, or like, That's inner so camera awesome. view. <laughs> I want to set the seas ablaze. <laughs> Thanks. The complete combustion states and yep, point for Firefly 100%. Not only allows for increased toughness reduction, it can also inflict fire weakness on target enemies. Oh, the flames that Sam emits when breaking the Damn, she, she's kind of like Boot Hill, but on crack. And is that a countdown icon on the action? Yeah, what's that the countdown icon supposed That's to be? Right. When the countdown is up, Sam will exit the complete combustion state. Ah, okay. It seems like the okay. It seems like she's always going to be Sam in combat. I mean, of course, right? And then she, you can only use Firefly in the open world. For Firefly to team I see. Allies who have weakness break efficiency buffs, or even super break? Mm-hmm. That's right. Ah. For example. Yeah, I've heard some people say that. Trailblazer. Yep. Mm. Oh. That she's in it as well of Harmony Trailblazer, which I did build. What a coincidence! In version 2.2, the Trailblazer inherited the Watchmaker's legacy and embarked on the brand new Path of Harmony. <laughs> the spirit of Trailblazing, traversing <laughs> unprecedented distances to go where none have gone before. But that's what it's all about. Bringing the will of the Trailblaze to more and more people. And on that note, I've got some good news for y'all. Yep. After activating the Harmony Trailblazer following the version 2.3 update, okay, well, Trailblazers can obtain a shadow of Harmony through the. Oh yeah, yeah, you Harmony can get her. You can get uh, Harmony Trailblazer up to E6. Thereby upgrading the Trailblazer's item yep. on level. And if I haven't had time to experience Penacony yet, don't worry. After locking the Path of Preservation, Trailblazers yet to complete the version 2.2 Trailblaze mission can activate the Path of Harmony early through oh. the. When Charmity rings out event screen. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. I hope the will. So new players can just get Harmony Trailblazer early, after Trans getting Preservation Trans Traveler. Now, Trailblazer. Ado, my bad. It's time we got to know huh. us, uh, Okay, I guess that's good I for newbies, son. Huh? see director a little better. Enter Madam J. Oh, yep, for Jade now. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to get her just to complete an IPC team, honestly. Oh, yeah, look at her design. Also, yeah, whip. <laughs> yeah, getting some, uh... Is that a burst? Fucking stepping on the enemies? Oh, shit, Snake. Holy... Jade is a director okay, of the wasn't expecting that. Investment department and a member of the Ten Stones. Yeah. She is a <laughs> Yilin too? She is elegant. Hello? And the upcoming Radiant Felspar discussions are an opportunity for her to showcase her true skills. In contrast... Also, I just realized that's a person at the bottom of her splash art. And I just only noticed this snake here. I prefer to operate behind yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Using emergency measures that's me. That's me right there, chat. No, actually, no, that's Mina. That's Mina right there. It feels like making a deal with Jade is a risky proposition. If you ever let your guard down even a little bit, you'll never escape her trap, no matter how hard you struggle. I can't believe her burst is just literally her stepping, stepping on the enemies. Femme fatale. <laughs> I like the sound of that. It's a snake from mm -hmm. in Adam and, and Jade Eve. also has a hobby by the hmm. name of Bana Jade Exchange. A pawn shop, essentially. Though it kind of sounds like a fine dining experience with you on the menu. Yeah, I, I can already see Mina's reaction to, to that. I can already see Mina fucking yelling and probably breaking <laughs> several eardrums as we speak. Trailblazers? Jade's goal always aligns with her own interests. She plays the long game, whetting her customer's appetite while extracting a suitable price. She first draws her customers into a vortex of desire <laughs> and bounces where they're most valuable, leaving nothing but an empty shell of despair. Despair. Why is everyone staring at me? Yeah. Albert? 
Didn't you just sign an agreement with Jade over the special program budget? Uh oh. <sighs> uh. <laughs> what? Hold a second. Oh. Oh, rip Albert. So, what exactly happens to people who sign agreements with Jade? Patience, patience. Why don't we let the combat do the talking? <laughs> As a quantum type character, <laughs> what is this? The it's of just straight up dead. <laughs> My what the basic heck? attack deals blast damage. Oh yeah, she's quantum erudition. Yeah. And adjacent targets. A blast damage dealing basic attack. Wait, that's, that's her basic. Fact. My skill huh, on the okay. hand allows me to sign an agreement with a single ally, thereby granting them enhancement and speed boost buffs. Okay. When the signee attacks the enemy, they can deal additional damage, but oh. at the expense of consuming their own HP. Enhancement oh, okay. in exchange for HP. <laughs> Is that what people mean by bestowing poison in the guise of sweet dew? So, so then she enables anybody to, to become <laughs> yeah, Blade. Of course. Okay. If I choose myself as the signee. The speed boost and HP. Oh yeah, she definitely will work well with Blade. That's the case. Yeah. yeah, she might be when the Blade buff that the Blade desperately really needs. It accumulates charges for me. Oh. When charges are full, the <laughs> follow-up attack is launched. She whips all the yeah, enemies into submission. Sure enjoy a follow-up attack. <laughs> yeah, she seems to be enjoying that a bit too much, if you ask me. Has its own modus operandi. My ultimate, on the other hand, allows me to meet out punishment in accordance with the agreement. <laughs> allows me to, to knock down all the sims beneath me. <laughs> my follow-up attack is enhanced. Good lord, that, that snake attack though. That's cool looking. To a dream? Then are the punished destined for the place that's furthest from it? Like, an abyss? <laughs> yeah, I can already see the fan art already of Jade. This place <laughs> might be one and the same. When using my technique during exploration, enemies within a set range enter the blind fealty state oh, and will refrain okay. from attacking me. Oh, okay. After attacking an enemy <laughs> inflicted with blind fealty, other enemies in the state will enter the battle. So they would just ignore Jade when the technique's up, okay. Damage. Just a single sheet of paper. <laughs> Signing away control of your life to others is all too easy. Oh, <sighs> poor Owlbert. He might be doing Jade in the IPC's bidding. Yeah, considering she has a follow-up attack, more that makes me think she could be also be a part of the wait, IPC follow-up team. I don't take kindly to procrastination. Also, Albert's still dead, by the way. <laughs> he's still deceased. <laughs> oh, he's back. <laughs> How are you feeling, Albert? You won't be retiring anytime soon. But then, neither will your program. Yeah. Silver Linus! <laughs> Why do I still feel like I'm working for nothing? <laughs> I wouldn't trouble yourself with that question. Yo, when are we gonna get Albert as playable character? He seems funny, I want him. <laughs> Ooh, great idea! And version 2.3's first half Oh of the no! No! Why would you do this? No! Firefly as well as oh, the Firefly and Ron May? Ron May. Shit! In addition, the drop rates for the limited oh no! Like that is bad news for me. As well for my wallet. As oh no! Like pass up and mirror will be boosted. Fuck! Miss Fire. Damn it! I thought Ronnie would be in two point four. She was for the world beyond the cold confines of her surroundings. Faint lights flickering in the midst of the dark forest. <laughs> Well, meanwhile. Oh yeah, okay. Our Jetsy's gonna come alongside Jade. Trailblazers just gonna acquire the limited. For cut, oh, Hoy is looking to make bank at 2.3. I can just already tell. <laughs> oh no. Also be joining the lineup. In addition, the drop rates for the limited five-star light cone. Oh yeah, I haven't actually seen Jade's light cone before. Also yeah, I realize the four stars are J are fucking boosted. Uh, Gallagher and Misha so, and Shui. Yeah. The fiercest of executives has a gentle side. Who isn't moved by the laughter of children? My heart isn't actually made of stone, you know. And finally, the brand new four star light. Oh. After the oh, yeah, this is. Oh, wait, is this a gotcha light or is it one we get for free? I wonder where Mr. Sunday is right now. 
I think we all need a glass of salt. Yeah, I think we all are wondering uh, that where, where Sunday is. Oh, that's, break, that's an erudition we'll icon, okay. Events. And yeah, when is Sunday going to become a playable character? That's another question we got to ask ourselves. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm going to have to make the ultimate choice here. Like, do I skip Ronmei or do I... Uh -huh. Or do I go wail all out for both of them? I'm not sure. I am very, very much not sure. Shit. Yeah, everybody's wallets is gonna be hurting in 2.3, I can already tell. And the, and the worst thing is I also want Jade too, because she seems cool. I also want to continue my IPC team. Ah, uh, crap. That is not good for me. Also, yeah, I posted the reject code in the chat, so be sure to copy it and paste it and claim it and whatnot before it expires tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure what to choose here. I mean, yeah, supports are more reliable, Welcome but back, like, then again, it's Firefly. Right I can't. Uh, oh, hey. Brand new events. First up. A significant update to Divergent the universe. universe. Oh, this is the, yeah, yeah, there we go. So New permanent excited. game mode. Did Mr. It comes, I think it's kind of like Golden Gears and Swarm Disaster. You guessed it. Led by Mr. Scroolum, Divergent Universe, the human comedy, is a brand new project path. Up until now, the aim of the simulated universe has been to research the stories of the eons. I'm assuming that the human comedy has more of a human focus <laughs> bingo that's the main research thrust of this phase of the simulated universe looks like this project will be yeah ron makes a weakness with efficiency Fox. and you know for sure she's gonna pair up very very well with firefly a little more about it first up a groundbreaking update to oh, the that's is that scroolum right there the arithmetic mapping function in the divergent universe whoa can switch between hey. characters they already possess Huh. This UI, so though. <laughs> they can create their own lineups? Precisely. My boy Kalos. <laughs> when testing the Divergent Universe, Trailblazers will no longer be limited by character downloads. When character level is lower than the current equilibrium level cap, it will automatically increase to meet the cap. Okay. If one of my characters is level one, oh. but I use them in the Divergent Universe, it increases to a set level. What? You, you can it. just max out characters so in certain handy. in this game mode. But okay. What if a character has a level but no suitable relics or light cones? <laughs> Where we're not in that situation. Temporary light cones and relics at the current equilibrium oh, that's level cool. will be automatically assigned. Okay. I like that's sick, actually. So I can max out my <laughs> character to see how <laughs> well they we do. Overlook Dr. Ratio's new brainwave. Hey, this is the stealth version. Above God, God, this UI looks so sick. <laughs> Before the start of every test, Trailblazers have the opportunity to select a random equation. And for the equation to take effect, you'll need different amounts of path blessings. Okay. Once the required amount has okay, been so achieved, it's somewhat similar to Simi Universe, but it seems like it has a very different twist to it. Combat abilities. Equation okay, yeah, resonance formations are still there. Five star blessings are still there. Okay. So the higher an equation's star level, the more blessings are needed to activate it. You nailed it. Did and to speed things up, <laughs> okay, that trying got nuked. Four hundred k. Blessings for each equation in Trailblazer's possession. Knowing which blessings can activate an equation is easy as pie. That's so considerate. Okay. If you're ever struggling to choose, just follow the mark. Adapting your choices to suit your equation allows you to cater the effects to your current team. Mm, it works both ways. You could adjust your team's composition to better suit your current equation. I want to see Trailblazers. Oh, what the? <laughs> Wait. So if isn't this I just like the current game mode, the raccoon, <laughs> like the galactic baseball game mode? Equation, it's it seems something like that. Change? Of course, by visiting the workbench of creation. Trailblazers can overwrite their existing equation and switch it out for another. Unwanted huh. blessings. Also, can wait, also wh what? Switched out <laughs> why are the cat cakes here? <laughs> wait, yeah, why, why are the cat cakes here? <laughs> huh? Has the curio store added more purchasable items? Whoa, okay. Oh, am I hallucinating? Did Madame Herta really lower the prices? 
The curious oh, system oh, cool. Has okay, so the curious have rarities now. Trailblazers can also choose from weighted curios. These curios are more suited to characters of specific paths or types. Huh. And really elevate the combat experience. Keep your eyes peeled, Trailblazers. You just have us just for this game mode only, obviously. Also, what the fuck? Escapade domains of the divergent universe. Oh. can win different prizes in these domains by spending cosmic fragments. Oh, so there's a new new domain in Simulator versus gambling. Be wasted, or even land you with negative curios. Sometimes. Okay. I don't think I would ever enter this domain, honestly. Luck is an important component it sure is now allow me to introduce an impressive optimization that left a big impression on your buddy albert when suffering defeat in the simulated universe oh yeah you can just reach try in the no spot right need to force stop the game divergent universe yeah okay that's that's useful for restart challenge as long as you have the re re yeah, retreat Ooh, i need to close the whole up. game <laughs> I've always very handy after completing each test in the Divergent Universe, Trailblazers can acquire Synchronicity Points and Inspiration, allowing them to activate the buff nodes and Inspiration Oh yeah, new sections. skill tree. Testing the simulated yep. universe just got a little bit easier. New SU mode, new skill people, tree. Albert. I don't mind it though. Just, <laughs> they're fun. They're fun to do. You forget something important? What about the planar ornaments? Oh yeah, that. <laughs> that you never asked. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> the planar ornament extraction function has arrived. Every time Trailblazers clear the Divergent Universe, they can choose to save a record of that challenge and archive the data of the equation, blessings. Yeah, and, and that means you can just challenge your boss again choose the planar with the blessings you had in that run. Archive. Inherit the data and buffs from the archive, uh -huh. challenge the boss enemy, and obtain immersion rewards. Just immediately, we need to go through the entire SU. You mean you can skip ahead? You just need to defeat the boss to get quick access to the planar ornaments? Are we sure this isn't some cracked version of the simulated universe that Silverwolf put out there? <laughs> nah, nah. Also, yeah. I knew, okay, I knew those three, like, candlestick bosses would become. A brand new simulated universe. Oh, okay, so they're gonna be the new boss for Sounds like World 10 of the SU. Hey, man, the that. <laughs> and also, yeah, we're getting new planet ornaments too. Version 2.3. Yep. The Duran and Forge of the Cal Punji Lantern. Duran, Dynasty of Running Wolves, and Forge of the Cal Punji Lantern. I'm not sure what they do though. Make sure to use the But I'm sure one of them is gonna be used for Firefly and Jade. <laughs> get a hold of them. After experiencing ordinary extrapolation, the Divergent Universe will have a weekly cyclical extrapolation objective. By completing this weekly challenge, Trailblazers can obtain a first-time completion reward, as well as additional synchronicity points. Okay. Not to mention, in order to celebrate the arrival of the Divergent Universe, oh. Madam Herder has added oh, we got a new light code. Sweet. Light code, eternal calculus to the store. Oh, erudition light code. Okay. To redeem it. Better start reserving some Sick. Okay, I'm so glad I've been saving up my uh, Hertha like shop points then. The Divergent Universe is really high. Faster access to planar ornaments, full choice of characters. Those are some big gameplay improvements. Nice. Game yeah, that's going to be good for, like, yeah, both Jade and Argenti. The eons are beyond our reach. Humanity yeah, I can't wait to try it out this game. Well, Swarm Disaster and Simi Universe are fun. As frustrating they can, as they can be, they're also the super stars, fun to do as well. It's important to keep your feet planted firmly on the ground. The stories in Divergent Universe, the human comedy, may seem small, but that does not make them insignificant. Trailblazers, get exploring. I can't wait to experience those stories! It's a chance for us <laughs> to find out more about ourselves. I look forward. Yeah, how many light codes are in the hardest shot right now? We got a destruction oh, one. Any room for a nine preservation naivety. Uh, <laughs> I, we got a hunt one, and now we have an erudition one. Sales store. Oh yeah, a box of the shadow. There we go. The hunt based game mode. They wish to seek traces of the yeah. Okay, so this is gonna be like pure fiction slash forgotten hall. Unlock the brand new permanent challenge mode, Apocalypse. Permanent game mode, by the way. Flex Reef and experience those past dreamscapes. Creed Exequy. Is this the first appearance of this faction of the Finality? 
Not oh. necessarily. A new permanent challenge mode? Creed X Squee. So what's I'm gonna have different? to read about that. In the finality, shadow, eh? Hmm. Will yeah, it seems like it's boss rush mode. Encountered in their journey. Every phase has two enemies, which oh. are split into four levels of challenge difficulty. The enemies in Apocalyptic Shadow are a little different to regular boss enemies. In preparation for the fight, Trailblazers can read the enemy's traits at the start of the battle. And also, yeah, this As looks like buffs. The modes, same one you, you get in uh, challenge, Pure Fiction. There are buff effects for Trailblazers to choose from for every boss. Make sure you maximize the advantages of your lineup. Yeah, I'm going to use a shit on my IPC follow-up team in this. And maybe I'll use my Yanqing again, for all we know. <laughs> strategies makes for a richer combat experience. Trailblazers can record a maximum of three floors of three-star quick clearances. That's right. And after the first oh. time clearance of a oh sweet, you get a free shui out of this. Trailblazers can I mean, I, I have her E6 already, so it's just gonna be well stardust to me. Stellar jades and self-modeling resin. <laughs> nice. We're just Sick. getting warmed up. Yep, there we go. Let's take a look at the permanent game mode rotating schedule. The first phase of the Apocalyptic Shadow Challenge will launch on the day of the version 2.3 update mm -hmm. and last for six weeks. Every version will rotationally update according to the following sequence. Apocalyptic so yeah, so it's like two Shadow, weeks to get Apocalyptic Shadow, Shadow, then you get Pure Fiction, two weeks later you get Memory just Chaos, and then the cycle just repeats on, on and on and on. The permanent challenge stage is replaced. Related system functions have also been optimized. When entering the so yeah, you, you get to do like one of them the every two weeks. Handbook, aside from being able to see the challenge lineups of their friends, Trailblazers can also easily check the star level progress of their current challenge. Yeah, break characters are, are gonna be the cracked in this game mode. Screen, Trailblazers can use preset lineups to create I can imagine, yeah, Boot Hill is probably gonna thrive on these kinds jump. of, uh, yeah, in, in this game mode. Now let's talk rewards, shall we? Yeah. By clearing a phase of Apocalyptic Shadow, Trailblazers can earn a maximum of 720 Stellar Jades. 720? <laughs> you might want to take another look at our agreement, Albert. <gasps> the maximum number of Stellar Jades awarded in each phase of the Forgotten Hall. Pure fiction and apocalyptic <laughs> shadow permanent challenges is increasing from 720 to 800. Oh. And the budgetary increase will be funded through Galbert's salary? <laughs> you. <laughs> well, thanks, Albert, for I sacrificing your salary for us. Making a deal with Jade is a risky Sick. Episode. Okay, so we get an extra 80 poles in total. <laughs> or 80 poles, well, 80 Jades. Following this change. Trailblazers can now Sick. So that's like yeah, five pulls every time you complete uh these challenges. The permanent challenges in each version. Then why do I hear quiet weeping? <laughs> I don't think Owlbird's seen the bright side. Yeah, if you do all four <laughs> challenges or all three challenges, that's like yeah, two thousand four hundred jades. No. Like fifteen pulls in, in all. The upcoming version, the origami birds also venture into the hey. <laughs> <laughs> Bring with them a little okay, game. this is the filler events now. Can help to test it out. An arcade game? Yeah, what the heck is this event? <laughs> Let me give Silverwolf a call. Yeah. These origami birds are very endearing. But why do I have a sense of deja vu? <laughs> this arcade game, <clears throat> Trailblazers need to cause elimination <laughs> within a specified number of steps. <laughs> Okay, so it's just Candy Crush. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> Before the end of every turn, corresponding damage is calculated according to the. Yeah, Albert, I'll make the best use out of your paycheck. Don't you worry. <laughs> returns to zero, like my bank account. Victory <laughs> like is my bank sealed. account. This gameplay. Could it really be? Wait, are you are you versing another player? I never thought the day would come when or, I could Or are we just versing NPCs? Airship. Oh boy. <laughs> In the Origami Bird Class event, oh no, PVP Candy Crush, oh no, with friends from across the universe. Can I fight Silver Wolf? Of course. <laughs> Be they old buddies or gaming acquaintances, all can connect and play. God, Firefly really wants to fight Silver Wolf, huh? <laughs> Great. Oh yeah, it's multiplayer. Okay. Stella Shimmer. <laughs> so you gotta be competing Candy Crush with another player. <laughs> Stellar. Stellar Flare. Is this the sequel? 
You're a sharp one, Miss Zacharon. Stellar Shimmer brings with it lots of brand new challenge mechanisms and trial character lineups. Star Flare. I'm not sure if that's a game that I played. Key to victory. Keep in mind, I did join Star Rail around 1.6. <laughs> Care to divulge a little more? Well, for example, in certain stages, breaking an enemy's weakness can grant you an extra action. In other stages, characters okay. enjoy unlimited revivals and can regenerate 50% of their energy. Does huh. that mean Trailblazers can try doing away with survivability units and focus purely on damage output lineups? Uh -huh. Oh yeah, the, I'm going to take advantage of that for sure. Set number of cycles to complete the challenge and it would be nice to like play one of these stages for once Woo! and be like, ah, I need I need Fushuan. Nah, I need a veteran and whatnot. Anywhere. More fascinating updates on version 2.3 are right around the corner. Yeah, breaking on weakness break or like getting a new turn on, on weakness break is OP. Also, yep, there's your last redemption code, folks. I'm going <laughs> to type this in in chat real quick so you guys can copy and paste it. But damn, yeah, th this push program is cracked so far. I, like, yeah, two new, like, permanent, like, uh, game modes. Well, technically one new permanent game mode and a new Simi Universe world, but still, that is still very exciting. And also, you know, Five Flying Jade, both are really, really cracked. Uh, but Ron May in the first half, though, I'm gonna have to make some, uh, some choices here. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, it seems like there's literally no filler in this at all. It's just damn, just straight up apartment content all the way through. <laughs> yeah, I'm very much excited for this update. Both for SU and also the new Hunt game mode and Firefly too. Oh yeah, I, th I think I missed. Yeah, I might. I think Welcome I missed typing a uh, number there. First up, it's the return of a nail biting and thrilling tradition. Gift of Odyssey. Oh, free tentpole again! Genshin could never. <laughs> There's also version 2.3's double events. Oh yeah, that Our too. Good friends, Planar Fisher. And, and, this, and yeah, this will be more convenient to play now. Now that the materials? now we have the optimizations for SU. Also in this version are the newly added cavern relics, Iron Cavalry against the Scourge, and the Wind Soaring Valorous. Oh, oh shit, we, okay, we're getting new routes too. Of corrosion. Path of Cavalier challenge. Oh, to gotta read. Oh, oh, wait, that was a weakness mm -hmm. break set. And let's not forget the new Path of Erudition trace materials. The oh, yeah, okay, materials for Jade, Felix's presumably. Yep. Sketch, dynamic outlining, and exquisite colored draft. I gotta, I gotta read those uh, artifacts, uh, those, those relic uh, sets again. These materials are indispensable. So many updates. Man, I can't wait for this version to drop. <sighs> and we're at the end of the version 2.3 special program. Man. It's about time we bade farewell to this white night. Thanks again for everyone's support and viewership. Ah, uh, that's the end. Okay. But it was good, though. It was very, very good. Holy shit. So many permanent updates. New trailer's mission. Okay, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll recap after this is done. The work of the IPC. I'm looking forward to the brand new Divergent Universe, not to mention all those brilliant events. Oh yeah, same. Don't forget to try them out. Um, in that case, see you in the next stream, Trailblazers. <laughs> I'll be waiting for you at the usual spot. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> bye, -bye. God, I can't get over how adorable <laughs> Firefly's uh, cheapy is. But okay, folks. Oh, oh, wait. Is written in this thing anyway. <laughs> you okay, Albert? That's it. That's it. I made it. What am I? I got. Talk to them. Uh oh. Center. Center him. Names. They're too afraid to read out for themselves. <laughs> and not to mention the bullying. All these years, working my tail for this off for the RPC. <laughs> oh God. And even the audience thinks I'm an intern. <laughs> oh god, he's lost it. To fund the stellar change budget for the new events. The audacity! <laughs> oh god, censor him! Censor him! <laughs> Get out of here. 
Oh. Wait, Xiaoji and Teak. What? <laughs> Sorry, Miss Alba. Will be <laughs> what? Tell that to Sunday. <laughs> now listen up. The three years are up. I quit. If you didn't know already, no, Albert, don't I quit. Got an offer from the CN Show to host the war dance. Oh, Albert's about to become a big time sports anchor. <laughs> you can get that on your knees and beg for all <laughs> I care. It won't make any difference. Yeah, why shout you to pick it as a chicken? <laughs> that war dance offer, the seven days pit time paid off, they're the same I, thing. You. What? Huh? Uh, well, we just passed out. What do we do now? It's fine. His part's done anyway. Director, roll the tape. Ladies and uh -huh. gentlemen, welcome to the most important event in the Zienjo calendar. Oh, uh -huh. the war dance. The opening session is right. I, I thought it was over. Corner. Wait, what's this? Here, you will witness members from all Zienjo delegations fight. For supremacy in the luminary combat art ceremony. First up, is this CC 2.4? And together for the Tianjo Yao Ching delegation. Oh, wait. Fierce and swift is <laughs> Fei Xiao, the Merlin's wait. claw. Wait, we're getting. Side, does he see new characters already? He doesn't drink. Fei Xiao, soup, what? And has no. Oh, Yao Ching. Okay, he was drip marketed. Oh, we're getting the Yao Ching region of the Tianjo. Up next, this is yes, yes, Yao Ching. Silent as a hunting shadow. Mose. Crow-feathered weirdo. Crow -feathered weirdo. They're drip marketing and fucking Xianjo characters already? Is the Xianjo Juming delegation. Strong and righteous is Huayan. Huayan. Okay. What? Okay, and they're not actually showing the characters, they're showing their silhouettes, but still. Yunli, okay, we, yeah, we know her. She was drip rocket for 2.4. Flame will octet Yunli. <sighs> Imagine they just they just fucking drop a. Uh... And finally, oh. the official host delegation has arrived. Let's hear it for the Xianjo Lao Fu. Oh, okay, back to Lao Fu, <laughs> the one we're all familiar with. Suddenly return home for the Lingsha. Yeah, imagine they, they fucking show Fuhua here, like Fuhua's XP. As well as an exceptionally gifted and legendary <gasps> new sword Wait. master, who shall remain anonymous. But legendary <laughs> new sword master. Wait, is that Fuhua? Wait. Oh, come on. Oh, Summer Games Fest. That's, that's, oh, that's literally today. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be there for the Summer Games Fest. I'm not going to be streaming it, though, because it's in five in the morning, but... Is that fucking Fuhua? Are we finally get fucking Fuhua's XP in this game? Or <laughs> I'm not getting that completely wrong, but fucking what? They fucking drip marketed like what? Six new Sienjo characters? Holy shit, I was not expecting that. Prometheus? Oh, I haven't heard of Prometheus before. Cause yeah, I I haven't played uh, I haven't seen too much of Honka Impact there. Hold up. Yeah, I have no idea who this character is because I haven't seen her in like any of the trailers. But but yeah, it seems like yeah, another Honkai third XP is gonna be coming in fucking the next update. Not the next update, but in the over the course of the next few updates. Holy shit, though! They fucking hit the ball running with this special program. What? There's like here you go, two permanent game modes, Firefly Jade, new trailer this mission, uh, fucking Candy Crush for some reason, <laughs> uh, new planar ornaments, new relic sets. And fucking, like, I think like six, seven new characters for the Sienjo? What? Oh yeah, that, that, that probably means Sunday won't be coming for a good while, but still. What the hell? Hoyo really decided, like, yeah, I'm, we're tired of your shit, leakers. You know what? We're just gonna leak the entire fucking uh, cast ourselves. Hang on a minute, I need to see that shit again. Let me see this. Let, let me see the shit again. Okay, so Jiao Chi we already know about. So does does that mean the rest of the two patches, like 2.4 onwards, is gonna be Sienjo? Fei Xiao know nothing about her. Although I think we have heard of 
No, no, it's, it seems to be him. Yeah, Fei I think we may have heard in like no flavor attacks and whatnot. Zhao Chi was drip marketed for 2.4. Moze know nothing about him. Crow Feathered Weirdo is his nickname. Huayan. That's two new characters. No, no, th uh, three actually. Yun Li, we know about. She's coming in 2.4. It's one of the flame will octet. Yunli! Oh, this is Maria Dros. And finally, the official host delegation has arrived. Let's hear and in the Sienja La Fu. Please welcome, having suddenly returned home for the big Ling Sha. That's four new characters. Ling Sha! As well as an exceptionally gifted and legendary. Legendary Swordmaster, which you guys said is Prometheus, so that makes five. Yeah, they really said, like, fuck the leakers, we're gonna just leak the shit ourselves. What the hell? <laughs> Face has a general of the Yao Ching. Oh yeah, that's right, right, right. I completely forgot about that, but thanks for reminding me. But holy shit. They really just what? They really just said fuck you to the leakers just straight up. What the hell? Oh, Fei Xia's female, Zhao Chi's male. Mose's male, Hua Yan's male, Yun Li's female, which we obviously know. Ling Xia's female. And the last one's probably yeah, I mean, yeah, that looks female to me. Just saying. <laughs> But holy shit, they just teased like the, the, yeah, the next general already. So yeah, I, I, I guess we can safely say that 2.4, 2.5, 2.6, 2.7, maybe, will just all be just Sienjo characters. Juan is a general of Zhu Ming. Oh yeah, right, right, right. So we're getting like two new generals in this update, and also legendary swords master who we i guess we have no idea about until um she's revealed but holy fucking crap that is wow i am surprised and also yeah that's just only two of the sienju factions right so yeah we got the la fu we got the uh the zhu ming and then we also got the yao ching isn't there like three more that um have yet to be revealed yet or have to we have yet to see Holy shit, though. Okay. <laughs> okay, Hoyo, we get it. <laughs> You're tired of the leakers' bullshit, so you decide to leak it yourself, but oh my god. Yeah, I can't wait for all these characters to be revealed. When, uh, when, they, when they do eventually get drip marketed. But yeah, the only ones we know so far is Zhao Chi and also uh, Yun Li, who we've seen their designs. But yeah, holy shit, though. These <laughs> Hoyo really, really just fucking lost it at this point. <laughs> they lost it as much as Albert did when he lost his salary. Also, I did want to say, why was uh, Xiaoji portrayed as a chicken? Is that like some inside joke uh, I'm like not getting? <laughs> because yeah, I, I, I'm not getting that joke. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, guys, don't bring up leaks in the chat. I'm staying away from leaks if at all possible. Except if it's like material and banner leaks that I'm fine with, but... Character leaks, I'd rather not know. Like, if it's a character I haven't met yet, then yeah, don't say it in chat, because I prefer to stay away from them. Xiaoji can be pronounced as cooked chicken in Chinese. Oh, okay. Okay, that's a joke. But yeah, holy shit. So I guess we know all the characters that are going to be coming out over the next few patches. Man, uh, I, okay, so, okay, so I can't really tell much based off the silhouettes here, but Mose, I, I don't know why. He, he piques my interest being the crow feathered weirdo yeah out of all these silhouettes here i think yeah face uh face out like yeah piques my interest as well as uh mose here obviously yunli also piques my interest as well as well as uh huayan but i guess we won't know more about them until they you know get officially revealed in game but yeah hopefully we see them in uh 2.4 or at least you know get some idea of what they're like in 2.4 but holy shit yeah i guess this is truly fair world panacani then because it seems like 2.4 onwards, it's just Sienjo, Sienjo, Sienjo nonstop. <laughs> Gonna check the relic stats. Um, yeah, I think I will if I can find them. Yeah, two new pillion ornament sets, Duran and Forge. I'm they didn't they don't show what they do though. Yeah, here, here we go. Iron cavalry. Iron cavalry against the scourge. Okay, that's gotta be for Firefly. And the wind soaring. Of Valorus. Okay, so this one's for break and super break DPS characters. A set for follow up and ultimate DPS characters. Okay. Hang on. Uh, okay, they showed here for like a split second. Iron Cavalry against the Scourge. Two piece increases break effect. Four piece. If the wear's break effect is 150% or higher, 
ignores 10% of the enemy's defense when dealing uh, break damage. When the worst break effect is 250% uh, or higher, the super break damage they deal to enemy targets additionally ignores 50% of the target's defense. Okay. They, they, they pretty much get super break for free if they get 250% break effect. So... <laughs> if you if you don't if you have this amount you don't even need harmony trailblazer anymore what okay that is just straight up op yeah i'm gonna have to start farming these for my shui my harmony trailblazer and for firefly now and also the other set okay attack plus 12 percent for two piece four piece increases the wearer's crit rate by six percent after the wearer uses a follow-up attack increases the damage dealt by their ultimate by 30 percent lasting for one turn Wait, huh? When after the wearer uses the follow-up attack, increases the damage dealt by their ultimate by 30%. Okay, that's obviously for Jade, but who else could that be useful for? I mean, I guess DPS Aventurine if you really want to, but uh, yeah, I can't see this being good for like the follow-up team right now. Because yeah, this is like this like kind of restricts to only certain characters. Yeah, it's like the character must have both a follow-up attack and also a damage dealing ultimate. So that means this 4P set is not gonna be useful on Topaz. It's not going to be useful on Acheron, because she doesn't have a follow-up attack. It can be good in Herta and Himiko, but why would you buff their ultimates when you could buff their follow-up attacks instead? Yeah, that is just kind of baffling to me. Yeah, it seems like this, this set is just only for Jade, and then Herta Himiko too, if you really want to build them ultimate-based. But yeah, definitely going to be pulling for the uh, Iron Cavalry set for sure. Uh, yeah, I don't think they reveal... Do they reveal anywhere where the uh, planar ornaments, or what the planar ornaments do? Because uh, I don't think they reveal it here. But yeah, guys, that'll be it for my reaction to the 2.3 special program, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching. And yeah, this was a really, really good live stream. Hope you guys are excited for 2.3 as I am. And yeah, good luck with all your polls in 2.3. But yeah, guys, with all that said, thank you all so much for watching. And yeah, I'm going to take off now to uh, process everything and probably uh, try and uh, decide if I want to pull for Firefly alone or Firefly and Ron May at the same time. <laughs> Uh, yeah, gonna make gonna need to make some uh, heavy, heavy choices here. But alrighty, guys, that is what I'm gonna call today's stream, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching, and hope to see you guys again in the next stream. Take care, and have good nights, and I wish you all the best in your days ahead. Alrighty, that's what I'm gonna do now, guys. Take care, and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye!